Families and students lined up inside Orchard Park and Bishop Ryan Catholic Secondary Schools for rapid COVID-19 testing. If anyone has symptoms, this is not the place to get tested. Hamilton Wentworth District School Board Chair Don Danko says the test is just a screening tool. People who have a, a positive test result from this test will be asked to book a standard COVID test to confirm the result. The two schools were identified in areas where testing is low, COVID-19 rates are high, and there was a history of cases in the school. Appointments were booked online between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. In addition to the tests that can be booked online, the center is also accepting walk-ins. They have the capacity to do 500 tests today. We're going to go take one ourselves. After sanitizing your hands, those looking to get tested are registered and screened. Once your test labels are printed, you take a seat for a quick nasal swab. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. All done. The swab is put into a tube with a liquid that dissolves proteins in the sample. We need to wait uh, about 45 minutes. Then the samples react with chemicals in the small Abbott rapid test and then reads like a pregnancy test. We have two letters here. One is control and one is test. In case if control line is present, that means the test is negative. If both lines are present, the test is positive. If only the test line is present, the test is inconclusive. Statistically, this test is 95 to 98 uh, percent precise. Danko says the tests provide two benefits. One is the rapid result. So that we can say, isolate at home until we confirm the result. Please don't come to school um, and possibly isolate cohorts if needed. The other benefit is getting asymptomatic people tested who wouldn't normally go for one. They're getting tested. They will get, if it's positive, they will get a standard test that then tells us about variants in our community. While individual results will likely be received on the same day, the school board will not have all total data compiled for a few days. Hamilton Public Health will continue to work with the school boards to determine areas in need of testing. One elementary school, Thorncliffe Park Public in Toronto, was blitz tested back in November. Multiple reports say it revealed at least 26 cases, which prompted Toronto Public Health to shut the school down.